So there's a lot of different ways to connect a 555 timer. In fact, between monostable, astable, bistable, pulse width modulation, pulse duration modulation, and all those things, I can understand why it's become so popular over the years. But there's another way of connecting it that I haven't seen anyone do, and I can't understand why because it must be the simplest way there is. And not only it's the easiest way to connect it, but it's also the most practical because it gives you a perfectly symmetrical wave, meaning exactly 50% duty cycle, and you can control the frequency extremely easily. And all you need is one resistor, one capacitor, and one jumper connection. So I'll begin by showing it in action, and then I'll go over how it works. So naturally you need the power connections. After that you just connect pin 2 to pin 6. Add a capacitor between pin 2 and pin 1. And finally just add a resistor between pin 3 and pin 2. And that's finished, you don't have to add anything else. Now to check the waveform you can just add an LED between pin 3 and ground using a current limiting resistor. And as you can see it flashes perfectly well. As you can see pin 7 here isn't connected to anything and that's because pin 3 will do all of the job. Also pin 4 and 5 aren't connected to anything as well. So to understand how it works, let's begin by presuming that the capacitor is discharged. This means that pin 2 is at ground potential, or lower than 1 3rd VCC, so we'll bring the output pin 3 high. This means that the capacitor will get charged through the resistor. This will go on until pin 6 threshold is at 2 thirds VCC. At this point, pin 3, the output, will be brought low, and the capacitor can start discharging through the resistor. In fact, pin 3 is very capable of sinking current, just like it can source it. Now, once the capacitor gets down to 1 3rd VCC, pin 2, which is trigger, will bring the output high again, which will make the whole thing repeat over and over. Now, let's talk about a few of the advantages. Naturally, the small amount of components and connections is always a plus, but you might have not noticed that the duty cycle is always going to be 50%. In fact, it doesn't matter what the value of the capacitor or the resistor are, the duty cycle will remain at 50%. This means that we can use a potentiometer in place of the resistor to change the frequency. This is far better in my opinion than the traditional boring way of connecting a 555 with two resistors and a duty cycle that has to always stay over 50%. So now by using the potentiometer instead of the resistor, you can see we can control the frequency over a great range. Alright, so I really hope you enjoyed the short video. If so, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, it means a lot to me. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.